Let's have a session on Edexcel paper three. This is for A-level business. It's a topic recap and it's based on the advanced information of which the link is below in the description box. Topic one, protectionism. Restricting the number of imports coming into a country with the aim of shielding its domestic industries. Causes of protectionism, protect local jobs, protect growing fledgling infant sectors, raise government revenue, tax from tariffs, it could be politics, prevents dumping of goods into a country, for example, Chinese cheap steel, maybe a response to a recession to provide a boost to the domestic economy. Types of protectionism, a quota, which is a limit on imports into a nation, an embargo, a ban on the sale of goods from a nation, subsidies, grants on tax break given to producers, domestic producers, tariffs, tax on goods being imported. Drawbacks of protectionism, the risk of retaliation, higher prices could raise inflation, encourages businesses to be inefficient and less competitive, therefore able to charge higher prices and remain stagnant due to government support. Imports are an essential part of a country's export competitiveness. A rising cost of imports may raise cost of production for domestic firms who import raw materials, therefore an upward pressure on prices to maintain profit margins. Customers deterred from buying goods and services, choosing foreign goods and services instead, so there's no benefit. Although this is for AQA, it's worth checking out this protectionism essay in case it comes up as a longer question. Of course, this is AQA, it's a 25 marker and you won't have 25 markers for Excel, but check it out. The link for the card is up there. Topic two, pricing strategies. Types of pricing strategies. Cost plus pricing, where the price of a product is based on the costs of production per unit. The positives allows business to identify price that enables achieving past break even point faster. Price skimming, where the price of a product is initially priced high and then is reduced over time. Positives, allows a business to maximize its sales revenue with initially priced inelastic demand before competitors follow. Penetration pricing, where the price of the product is the lowest in the market and then is increased over time, for example, mass market products. Positives, useful if trying to grow market share, enables the business to place itself on the far end of the cost competitiveness spectrum, therefore would have a competitive advantage to attract more sales from the most value conscious of customers. Predatory pricing, where oligopolies set low prices to prevent new businesses from entering the market. It could be illegal if the CMA deem it as collusion. Positives, reduces number of firms entering the market, therefore a lower chance of disruption to the status quo, therefore maintains market price level and reduces consumer choice to increase brand loyalty. Competitive pricing, where well, the price of the product is relative to a business's competition. Positives, enables business to undercut competitors to attract more sales and develop customer attention and brand loyalty. Psychological pricing, where well, the price of the product appears a lot cheaper than it actually is. For example, £990.99p instead of a thousand quid, a thousand pounds. Positives, enables business to attract more sales from value conscious customers without reducing profit margins significantly. Factors that determine pricing strategies, the number of USPs, the amount of differentiation, the price elasticity of demand, the level of competition in the business environment, the strength of brand, the stage of the product life cycle, costs and the need to make profit. And you can always use these factors as evaluation points. It depends on. Topic three, assessment of a country as a production location. Factors to consider, the cost of production, the skills and availability of labor force, the infrastructure, location of the trade block, government incentives, the ease of doing business, political stability, natural resources, the likely ROI, return on investment. Considerations or evaluation points. It depends on the production method. What about the profit maximization versus ethics? The profit versus ethics trade-off, the conflict. Expansion abroad could lead to diseconomies of scale. It depends on how reliable the market research is. Topic four, shareholders versus stakeholders. Click the card up there for more details on this topic. Topic five, investment appraisals. Click the card up there for details on payback. Click the card up there for details on NPV, net present value. And remember those discount factors. And the final 
Topic is ARR average rate of return. Click the card up there for more details. Best of luck.